<sighs> All right, what's up guys? Monday conversation time. Gonna do a little business update for you. Um, anybody who watched the vlog yesterday, you know I went and had a meeting with Chris. Chris is uh, in charge of my SEO stuff, um, which for those who don't know what that is, uh, that's for uh, like Google rankings and stuff like that. And he also is helping me with marketing and stuff. He does that. That's what he's going to school for, and like he actually does. He's like working on his uh, MBA, I think, right now. Um, but anyway, that's what he's doing. And um, so yeah, so he's helping me out with that kind of stuff. So the meeting last night went really well. Um, the company itself, we're doing okay. We're not great. We're not horrible. We're just kind of in the middle. We're making it through. We're, we're figuring this out as we go along, you know? It's kind of one of those things of, I got thrown into this a little earlier than I thought I was going to, and I'm kind of just, you know, trying to put all the pieces in all the right places, and the nice thing about having someone like Chris is where last night he talked about a lot of stuff that I knew, there were little pieces that were missing that he put together for me to link everything together as far as like social media and website and all that stuff. Um, so it's great because it's help, it, it'll help me out a lot. Um, you know, we talked about a lot of different content stuff I could do, which was awesome. Uh, you know, and we're, we're all over the place with jobs. You know, obviously I've done, uh, some folding chairs that were custom and I do obviously lots of rims and all this stuff. So, um, like I said, the company is not, you know, way one way or the other, like it's not bankrupt. It's not, you know, doing a million dollars a year. We're just kind of in the middle, getting by, making it happen, and slowly but surely gaining momentum here. And it's kind of one of those snowball effects. And the more I can do on the media side to promote stuff, I've done some uh, some Facebook ads. Those have gone extremely well. Um, and so I'm just going to continue to do that and try to build the Instagram presence and Facebook and website presence. And we're going to just continue to try and, like I said, slowly build one piece at a time, one brick at a time. You know, we're going to make stuff happen. It's going to be awesome. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm executing a lot of patience with it. I would love to, uh, you know, be just like, boom, what are we doing? First year, hundred grand, like we're in there, we're good, we're golden, we're going. Uh, but that's not the way it works. So I'm trying to work right now. One of the things I'm looking at is how can I expand besides just getting new customers all the time for single individual jobs. You know, I'm, I'm looking into, can I find companies that, uh, you know, maybe mass produce something, you know, where I'm doing say a hundred pieces a week, whether it's a, a bracket for something or, you know, whatever, um, you know, can I do find a company that makes those that I do a hundred pieces a week and, you know, that would be a, a, a consistent, awesome base to start with. And then plus doing, you know, the custom jobs would be great. Uh, also looking at doing some custom work on some of my own stuff to promote the business better. Um, because there's nothing better than actual tangible goods that you can see of like, wow, look what this guy did with his stuff. So, uh, just trying to, like I said, hit a bunch of different angles and up the media presence online and just put the little pieces in there, you know? And like I said, executing a lot of patience. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that if they were in the position I was in, they would, um... They would have closed up shop. They just, there would have been like August for me was horrible. My sales were so far down in August. I squeaked through by the hairs on my chin as far as like making any money whatsoever. Um, and so, but you know what? You're going to have months like that. It's all about getting some data, which means I'm going to have to go two, three years here to see where are my slow times, where are my busy times. And then you just have to know, hey, I'm busy, say like, like April through July, I'm busy. And then like November through April or yeah, like April through July. And then, you know, like, I don't know, October through February and March were slow or, or whatever, you know, you, you just, just whatever. It's figuring out when you're busy, when you're not and preparing for those times and trying to figure out how can I be more, how can I be busier in those slow times? Uh, prime example of that is Disney is great at that kind of stuff. Um, they are very good, and especially in recent years, and now they're kind of tapering off of that, is 
when they had um, slow periods, especially at like either Disneyland or Walt Disney World, they would actually put a marathon, half marathon race weekend in there because that draws in an extra 10, 20,000 people. Um, so they're very good at that and it's great. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like taking a nugget like that of, okay, they do that. What can I do? You know, obviously I can't throw a marathon or a party or whatever, but is there something I could do? And again, it just takes thought process and time. Um, and then beyond that, when I have downtime from that aspect, because the powder coating business is the more uh, short to mid to mid range game for me as far as capital goes. The long game for me is more or less the YouTube uh, branding side and branding side of everything. Um, Chris asked me last night, "What is your what is your purpose with YouTube?" And my 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 honest to god purpose and goal of YouTube is to create a passive semi well we'll put it passive aggressive income there's no such thing as actual passive income if you're making in income off something chances are very very high you have to put work into it it just depends how much work so um like right now i'm putting a lot of work into youtube i'm hoping within the next 24 36 months i can tone that back some um still be making money on it not now that is not a oh, I'm going to be the next, you know, million subscriber vlogger or anything like that, but tone it back where I'm still making some cash flow from that without having to do much in the likes of that. You know, maybe that gets like five, ten hours a week worth of work to produce YouTube stuff and I can focus on the powder coating stuff and some other business ventures I want to go into. Um, I like I have a couple other ideas coming down the pipes that I have thought about for years and really want to do, but I have to come up with some creative financing options with it uh, because I don't have all the cash on hand to be able to go out and do those ventures. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the point of the business here, um, you know, or the, or the status of the business is we're there, we're doing it, we're executing patience on it, and we're, we're slowly snowball affecting and getting all the pieces in place to really make it pop and go. And at some point here, we're going to start really blowing up the balloon or the bubble or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to, and that, and then we'll be rolling and that'll be it. So that's been today's Monday conversation. Really appreciate everybody tuning in. I will see everybody tomorrow for a regular vlog. I'm going to go to bed because I feel like I'm kind of getting sick. Not sure. We'll see everybody tomorrow.